ladies, how are you? Okay, so loving the extensions still. I do have to call my hair gal because I want them just to tighten them up. I'm going to Texas next week. Witten in true fashion is yelling outside of our bedroom door. That's why I'm hiding in here. Baker's over there, already made them dinner, sitting down real quick. I wanted to ask you guys a favor. So I'm, y'all know I'm going through this whole damn like planner dilemma, not really knowing what I'm gonna do or what I'm not gonna do. So I've got a Moterm 6 ring coming in. I had drifted away from the rings because just they tend to be like really just heavy, clunky, but I've been researching a little bit and I think the Moterm 6 ring might be a little bit lighter. I'm doing the A5 size of it so it'll be similar to my Moterm cover. This one looks bulky because I did, one of my followers, she commented about my The Budget Mom workbook that you can put it inside the pocket itself and I did that. I actually love it. It's stressing my snap a little bit, but it's holding up so far. It hasn't busted it, so that's a positive. But this is starting to get a little heavy, um, so I'm gonna, I'll see, I don't know. But in the meantime, yesterday at work was so productive. I have been working, quite honestly, my ass off to really make sure that 2021 for my team is awesome, that we expand. So we're here in Arizona right now, but I am growing our team and company to Texas. That's where I'm originally from. So I'm really excited. I'm going back to Texas next week again. I'll be there from the 3rd to the 11th. So if any of y'all are in Texas, like the DFW airport, I would love to catch up with you in person. But anyway, so I have a huge favor to ask you guys. I am, because I'm gonna be exploring that six ring um, planner, I was trying to do my iPad, trying to use it for like the digital planning. Y'all, I just suck at that. I got the pen, I got all that stuff. I like it to type. I don't like it to write the planning. The problem is my brain is so OCD that when I'm writing, it looks ugly and I can't handle that. So in looking for like which um, inserts I'm gonna use, yes, I have plenty of cloth and paper. Yes, I've used them. Those of you that have followed me, just kind of understand I'm, I'm kind of in this, um, I don't know, appreciation dislike for them right now because of some customer service issues. So I don't know, I don't wanna get into like bashing or anything, but I will say that customer service is so critical to me. I love giving my business to people that are client forward. I will actually um, give a shout out. So Pink Lily Boutique is like this place where you can get like cute clothes or whatever. I bought our family pajamas, the shirts themselves um, from them. When I washed them, the dye from the lettering ran, so it made it look like kind of grayish all around emailed them today, within a couple hours they responded, apologizing, taking accountability for it. I did not send a nasty email, but what they ended up doing is she asked, you know, would you like a, a refund or would you like an e-card, a gift card for their store? And I said, I would love an e-gift card. I love their customer service. I got a sweatshirt from them that's just been awesome. My Mama Claus sweatshirt. So it's stuff like that that I wanna continue giving my business to. So anyways, my commitment to you guys is always to shoot you straight for the good, the bad, the ugly. So unfortunately, I did have a bad experience at CNP and I I would like to believe that I'm a good spender with them and I was really darn loyal. So because of that, I'm trying to find other minimalism, um, kind of targeted planning sheets. So running my team, you guys, if you're efficient, you should be living on your calendar in essence as far as your appointment. So I don't necessarily need something that has the times, what time to what time my appointments are, I'm more so looking for my tasks to get done because the problem that I find is if I'm writing down my appointments for the day, sometimes I forget to write them on my actual calendar and then I forget about them or vice versa. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna just live with the calendar um, on my phone, but my planner is going to be for my laser focused stuff. I don't know if you guys have read a book from Brian Tracy, it's called Eat That Frog. And it's all about tackling just the biggest, slimiest frog you can because then everything else that day is just going to be like smooth sailing. So with that said, I've been looking at uh, planner inserts till my eyeballs fall off. Um, you're going to hear... I need the iPad. Okay, so Witten needs the iPad. Let me turn that on for him. Hold on one second. Witten, be quiet because I've That's got everything. my red one. I know. Can you sit down? Mommy's on YouTube. <laughs> so there's Witten. He's, we're on YouTube. Um... And there's Patrick bringing the iPad for Whitney, seeing if you're fashion. So hold on one second. Okay, I need you to be quiet, please, because mommy is on the phone. 
Okay, there you go. You play that. Okay, so you guys are going to start hearing toddler noise. I'm going back to the door because he did not shut the door again. So here we go. So here I am continuing on. So with that said, I was, I'm looking at all this planner stuff, trying to figure it out of what inserts I want. I love Etsy. I go there a ton. Um, I was actually looking, I think I have like 16 pages worth of purchases I've done since Etsy got started. So I go there for a lot of things. I love following planner folks, um, creators on Instagram. I don't know. I just, I, I love supporting businesses that way. And I love trying new ones out uh, just because you see the creativity and kind of what works for someone. So I got a hair up my ass today because yesterday I just had really, I had some great wins for my company. So, um, I just decided I need a, a, a brain break today. So at lunch, I had a glass of wine right now. I already cooked boys dinner and stuff, but I've got water going, right? Cause that's the responsible thing. But I found these vodka absolute sodas. If y'all haven't tried them, zero sugar, 97 calories per serving. I am on day two of the treadmill and started up keto uh, yesterday too. So I'm trying to be responsible because I got to get this damn bloating. I mean, look at this. Like the good thing is it makes your boobs look big, but I am okay to go flatter if I'm uh, less bloated. So with that said, just really proud of my accomplishments ah! as Witten is right now because he won the little activity game for toddlers. Um, but I started putting together some planner sheets, uh, just stuff that... Like I, I used to have a strategic planning company. My real estate company was taking off so much that I had to make a decision. I even had a commercial cleaning company. Um, when I left my executive job, I created one because it's the field that I was in, so it made sense. But quickly shut that one down because I just realized you can't be the, the master of everything. You're gonna become the master of half-ass everything and I didn't wanna do that. So, but the strategic marketing, the branding, the kind of the goal setting, all of that stuff has always stayed. It's how I'm wired, it's who I am. Hence all the OCD of finding a million damn planners, right? So with that said, I decided to, I used to have part of my, a hobby, like an actual hobby that I did is I created a stationary line because when I retire, I would love to have a stationary line, but who knows, maybe I start it sooner. I'm not really sure. But with that said, I wanted to ask you ladies, I have now, I think we have like 200 people on the channel, which is really exciting. But you guys have been so supportive. You take me as I am, looking like ass, just being honest and candid in my videos, not looking professional and letting kids run into the video or being loud, the dogs going crazy, letting me cuss and be myself. 200% allowing me to be my authentic self and I really appreciate it. So you guys have also shared and commented so many good things about what you guys are doing and struggling with. And so I wanted to find out from you guys, this is going to, I think it would be applicable. So this is the deal. I'm thinking it's going to be gender neutral, if you will, from a perspective that if you work at a company, own a company, anything to do with, you're making a paycheck of some sort, I think this will work for you. If you are somebody that just really takes care of your CEO of the household I think it will work for you too. Um, so I'm, I I'm want to get like anybody that is willing to try these things out. So I'm gonna get to the point and then I'm gonna show you guys kind of two versions, okay? So for the sake of YouTube, I did a, a big version of this one so you can see it. Okay, so this one is called, I put it as the Cinderella Chores. It's my cleaning list for the week. It has Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So this would be in your planner. You can hole punch it to whatever hole punch you want. Um, I'm even thinking about maybe uh, popping open my um, my stationary um, website again. So that way I can just have these there. So if people want to, you know, download them or whatever they could. But it's got the little mop in the back because get it Cinderella. I thought that was kind of witty. But anyways, so put this one together. Yeah! Witten's excited about his game again. So, but this way, I did it very intentionally. So my thought is we try to overcommit ourselves all the time, all the time. And I'm sure y'all do too, okay? Because we're all looking for sanity. But this allows you only a certain amount of room and it only gives you the opportunity to put one thing, only put one task. Because if you're, if you're doing something small in your house to clean every day, 
then in essence, it's just staying as a revolving. I used to run a cleaning company and then I went and owned one, remember. So I am all about, I understand routine of cleaning. So if you can do something small but effective every day, a little something, then, then you're gonna stay on top of it. So this would be one of the planner sheets. And then I printed it in a format so you can kind of see what it would look like on an A5. So see, I did mine for the six ring because I'm planning on that six ring coming in. But even if you were to use your, like your Moterm or whatnot, let me show you, I have my planner right here with me, the Moterm one. So the Moterm with Astology, you could totally put that in and do like what I've been doing with my other ones where I just use the tape runner and then you have it in there, which I thought was great. Ah. Hold on, wait, I'm on the video. You want to start all over? No. Okay. So the next one that I have that, so if anybody's interested in trying out the chore sheet, you just let me know. Wait, I'm going to take it away if you can't behave. Thank you. So the, if you want to try that one and I'm, I don't, it's okay. If you want to try all of them, you'd let me know all of them. If you want to just try one of them, you tell me which one you want to try. Okay. So looking for volunteers to try these suckers out for me. Y'all tell me what you think. If you'd want to adjust something, like I want your feedback and I'll be using them too. So that way together we can figure this thing, damn thing. Out. Yeah! He's excited again. See, love to eat with that thing. Okay. So the next one that I created is called feed my belly. And this one is meal planning. So I do enjoy to meal plan. Um, I didn't do any for grocery shopping list because y'all, there's plenty of those out there. I'm more focused on bullet points. So I like bullet point writing. Um, so this one has breakfast choices, snacky snacks, because if y'all are like me, I like to chomp on some snacks. Um, lunchbox specials. So if you're gonna pack your lunches or create lunches for the kids or yourself or whatnot, you have that space. And then the bottom one is what's cooking for dinner. So this is done. I didn't need like lines on this one. My thought is, okay, like just kind of brainstorm and dump it out so then you can create your grocery list and then you can tape that on the fridge or whatever, keep it in your planner um, or both. Hell, I don't care. And you have it, okay? So there's that version and then it would be same thing, A5. And you can put these into like a B6. You could put them like whatever size you want when you print them. And I would send these to you guys in like a PDF form so you can try them out and let me know what you think, okay? So there's that one, Feed Ma Belle. The next one that I did, and I'm, I'm doing these again because for me, there are certain things that I need day to day, running household, balancing the toddlers, being counselor to my 20 year old when he needs me that way, working, managing every, you know, it's like just a cluster. So um, the forget me not calendar entry. So I need to add these into my calendar because I'm, I don't know about you, but like when you get on a call or a text or an email, or whatever, oh yeah, let's go do happy hour. Oh yeah, let's get together. Oh yeah, let me make a call to you, blah, 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 blah. Well, I don't always get them in my calendar quickly, but they stay floating in my head. And then sometimes I forget. Witten, if you yell one more time. No, the duck's not going in the bath. Okay, there, he's in the bath now. Okay, and don't yell again because I'm on YouTube. There we go. So forget me not calendar entry. So I did just, it's kind of like a blown up Daisy because get it, forget me not, he loves me, he loves me not, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm cheesy. However, it's enough room where you could write in, you know, that appointment that you need for the day or whatever. So then as you go, you could highlight it off. So that's what I'm, my intention in my mind is that I can write those down. I liked keeping them sectioned off so that I'm not mistakenly writing a person's name with an appointment and it didn't match. So this way I keep them, compartmentalized. I think that's a word, whatever. So that would be one of them. So the forget me not calendar entry. And then the same thing, A5 rings, and it will fit into the Moterm uh, Stalogy if you wanted to, or your rings or whatever. Okay. So there's that one. The other one, that, and yes, I did whip these out. It took me maybe an hour, if that, but that's how my brain works, you see. So the next one that I'm super excited about, I love to read books. Um, I very intentionally did this one. I need to start writing out my book list for the year. So, but I only want to do six at a time because the year, like I get, I'm book happy. I'm always buying a damn book. If I like the cover, I love it. If I like hear about it on a podcast or whatever, it's like chasing white rabbits. So like I end up over buying books. I like will buy an audible and then I go buy them the physical. It just like, I'm a waste. Witten, I'm about to go put you over there and take the iPad. 
Okay, you need to move it, but mommy is on YouTube, okay? So this one right here is books to read. I'm proud of myself. Books, get it? I love books. I'm a book nerd. So, but I only put uh, five. So I want you to, like, if you use this, I'd love your feedback. So there are little bookmarks, mini bookmarks, but it has the title and the author, if you're going to buy it or get it at the library, and then the cost to buy. I thought that would be just efficient enough. And you keep your little list and you can highlight it as you go. I like the idea of five. Yeah! He's excited again. You see this, it's like... I don't know, multi-personality kid. But anyways, you can highlight it or mark it off as you go, right? So I like that one. That's the, the smaller version. I had this big one too. And these, if you did the eight and a half by 11, you could fit those in like a happy planner, like a that large disbound or whatnot. Might even be a good idea thinking out loud for like a teacher planner um, for the kids to read or whatnot. Now this one is gonna be what the daily, like my daily spread I'm gonna try out. So it's gonna, this would be on the left and then this would be on the right. So when you open it, it would go this way in essence, right? And then be double-sided. So the top part I love today is cause I, I'm not always great about the date. Like today, I don't even know. I think it's 28th or 29th. I don't even know anymore. All the days are running together, but I'm not good with remembering what the 20 whatever is, what day of the week. So I like writing Monday or Tuesday or whatever. I don't always put the number, sometimes I do. I'm janky with that, but the day itself matters to me. So having that, and then below, cause I'm learning that I really need those affirmations Aww. like to keep me, keep my brain feeling positive about myself. Cause sometimes I'm human, like I will get down on myself or negative self-talk, whatever. So I put on there, I'm a badass because, and then you can fill out for yourself. Why are you a badass for that day, right? The number one action needing to get done today. So it goes back to the Brian Tracy book of Eat That Frog. If you haven't read that book, super easy read and it yeah. might change your life. Okay, So yeah. but you'll, you'll be talking in frogs uh, from that point on. But the number one action uh, needing to get done. It's all about action. So for me, for business, or even again, if you're managing household or whatnot, it's all about action, right? So I didn't even want to put like, what are my three tasks for the day? Five tasks, whatnot. No, because I'm not gonna get all of those done that way. There's gonna be other like things that I need to get done that I can time block on my calendar to get done, but they're really just as usually one thing that if I really get that crap done, it's gonna make a difference for me. Like I need it off my plate. So I put the little froggy prints, cause get it, eat that frog. I put three actual calls, the name and number. So a little cell phone, and then you just write the person. Who do you really need to call? I'm not saying text. You can do that if you want, but the purpose that I created this for was honestly for me to be uh, even more focused for the year ahead because I know that I, my business is about to grow in a different capacity and my leadership role is gonna change. So three actual calls that need to be made, the names and the numbers, and then my happy mail person. I put that there because you guys, we're about to get started in a new year. Yes? Okay, you and the stuck there. Okay, so my happy mail person, name and mailing address. I put the little envelope in enough space so you can write the name and the address. You guys, if you were to send one card, so keep one card in your planner, which if we have planners, cards are gonna fit. If we mailed one card a day, every day that you work, so even if it wasn't seven days a week, if it was just three days a week, one day a week, one day a week would be 52 cards mailed out, which is pretty damn cool. If you did them five days a week, I don't know what the multiplication is of that, but that's a crap ton, right? So I'm putting, I want to mail. I want to get better about that because I love using stamps. I love sending snail mail and people love them too. My stationary line, when I created it back when I actually have like snail mail cards, they are so damn cute. I'll have to show those to you on another video, but I still have a ton of those. So I want to use them, you know? say happy birthday to. So say happy birthday to, who is that person? Is those, Are those gonna be on your Facebook? Are those gonna be a relative or whatever? So I need to get better about saying happy birthday. I think about it often or I'll see a post, I need to get better, I need to execute with action, right? The name of this one, so the name of this spread is gonna be called Owning My Damn Day, Frogs to Eat. So I love this one, Owning My Damn Day, okay? The second page to that, so when you would open it, it would be this way, and then you have that secondary page. The second page just says, keeping together my crap for today. This one is just so you can like brain dump, write miscellaneous yeah. notes or whatever. I didn't want to put lines because 
some, t some days I feel like a line writer. Some days I feel like a dot grid writer. Some days I feel like just vomit it so I don't damn forget it. Or some days I'm just like, I don't even give a crap. I'm just going to doodle because I'm bored out of my mind on this conference call and I want to jab my eyes out. Okay. So that's what I did that one for. So the same thing, we can have it on the, the A5 version. Um, that's what it would look like. So whoever is open no! to trying these out, comment, just comment on the channel, like below in the comment section, if you will, um, just send a comment to me. I will put in the, like my description of the video, I'll put my email. And if you will just write, I'd like to, or whatever, just let me know you're interested. Now the damn dog's going crazy. This shit is real. Can you believe? But anyways, um, I have, yeah, so I've got her pet friendly shot collar. Okay. Y'all, but she's 110 pounds. So sometimes she needs like help with that. Um, but anyways, I will put in the comment, like my description section of the video. I'll go ahead and write in there the, my email, like my actual personal email. And if you want to email me and just send me your email address, I don't, if you feel comfortable writing it in the comment section of the YouTube video, I'm fine with that. But if not, just go into the description, look for my email and send it to me and I'll email you guys either. Like I said, if you want to try all of them out for me and give me feedback, um, or if you just want to try one of them out or whatever. And then, um, I, if you guys are okay with it, the only thing I'd ask in return is I'd like to then, um, I'll end up sending out, I'll probably give everybody from the time I send them out, I would send probably end of January. I'd like to just send, I'll send out a brief survey, um, no strings attached, but I'd like to get your feedback because then if you're trying them out, but I don't know what the hell you think about them, then da -da -dun, pointless. So anyways, with that said, if you think that I should start that website again, my stationary line, if you think that the world needs more of crap like this so that we can keep living our best life and quirky selves, let me know that too. Cause I, like I said, I'm not opposed to it. I'm open to it. It's called my planning. My stationary line was called Lujo planning, uh, planner couture. Lujo is a Spanish word for like luxury, pristine, blah, blah, blah. I'm Mexican, so the word, you know, I, I know what it means, but people found it hard to pronounce, which is valid. Um, but maybe I start the line, Mompreneur Living Stationery. Hell, I don't know. So if y'all think this is just random yeah. stuff, I did this because I was bored. I did it because I've got that planner coming, so I want to try to put some stuff in and see if it works to help my sanity and my insanity of continuing to try to find a million damn planners. Um, but yeah, that's what I've got for you. So thanks as always for stopping in on the channel. Love you guys. I see you guys. If you need a kick in the ass, you want business advice, you want me to talk about strategic relations or networking or how to diversify your business from just a, a strategy perspective, let me know. If you want me to talk about my crazy shit show of a life, how I'm juggling it all, I can talk about that too. You just comment below what you guys would like me to work on. Um, I do meet with the financial coach tomorrow at 7 a.m. Arizona time. I'm excited to share my feedback on that um, because then I'm going to start working on my cash envelopes and or like the chime cards or whatever. I'm going to get her advice on that. So I'm excited. Please send good vibes that this is like, I'm going to get my shit together with it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go now and go figure. Now he's all happy as a clam. You'll have to see this. So y'all have officially heard him screaming his head off. So now Witten is completely fine. Go figure. But anyways, I will see y'all later. Bye.